can't believe it's still sunny outside. Maybe we should do another episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Morgan on the Daily. We're on our 13th episode. That's crazy. Almost as crazy as it being so light outside. It's later in the evening. I haven't quite gotten to this yet today, but I'm ready to make some magic. So let's go ahead and sync up our watch. So right now it is 721 on Wednesday the 8th. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and draw something out of my awesome jar to work on for tomorrow. So let's see where we're gonna go. Looks like what I'm working on tonight is the temp and the receptionist from out of my mind. Okay, this this is a selfish piece. Um, I actually put this piece in this jar. I don't know anything about this piece or if this is from a musical or a song cycle, um, but I've seen it multiple times being used at the KCACTF Irene Ryan's competition. And I really, really wanted to work on it. It's a guy-girl duet, so I'm gonna have to find a guy, but I think there's a couple of people I can call tonight and see if there's anyone available. Um, I'm really, really excited to work on this because it's just such a fun song, um, and I wanted to know some more information about it. So I put it in my jar for myself. Let's see if I can find us a guy. So I just made a couple calls, and I actually got in touch with a really good friend of mine named Patrick. Now, Patrick lives in the Kansas City area, Colorado. Kansas City. He's a professional actor, so he's on the move. Um, but he's gonna work with us tonight and make some magic, so let's have a phone call with him right now. Patrick, where are you? Are you in Kansas City? I'm in, I'm in Kansas City, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where you, where do you live now or where are you based? Well, I I do live here in okay. Kansas City. Yeah. So I, watched, I watched your one um, in preparation yesterday. Oh, you did! Uh, the, the most recent, the most recent one you did. I've watched a couple of them um, when early on, but then I watched the one uh, your most recent one yesterday. Isn't to you great? Yeah, she is. She did really good. I know. I enjoy her a lot. She's super good. She's another equity actor. I just have all these Ooh. equity actors on my show. <laughs> all these fancy equity actors on my show. <laughs> we're all we're all fancy. Y'all so fancy, so famous. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So I I'm sure you saw, but I usually like draw a song, and then I have 24 hours to learn the song. Um, and the song I drew this time is the Temp and the Receptionist from Out of My out of my head. I always want to say out of my mind, but it's called out of oh, my head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with this song? I I have seen it performed, um, I believe in my, uh, like a college musical that's, theater acting class. That's exactly um, what I wanted to I've never, I've never done it before. So that's, that's exciting. Oh my God, do you want to listen <laughs> to it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been listening to it in a long time. It's who kind of, wrote it? Who wrote this? Kuman and Demon. Oh, that's right. That's right. See, I don't even know. Is this a musical? Is it a song cycle? I think I it's a song cycle. Got it. Okay. So it starts with you. You sit at your reception desk. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be great. You belt your face off in this. Mm -hmm. And rolling in your rolling chair. Who is, who is this? This is Anderson Davis. His Anderson. voice sounds familiar. Yeah, Anderson Davis and Patina Miller. Oh, that's right, it's Patina. Yeah. I forgot about that. So, so it sounds like I get a verse, you get a verse, which is pretty yeah. And then we And then we come together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In our cubicle of love. That's right. <laughs> that's, uh, it's a, a good uh, visual of what's going on now. We're in like a, a cubicle of isolation. <laughs> a cubicle of isolation. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jet. I love you though. All right, it was good to see you. See you. I'll see your work soon. Okay, so I've been practicing a lot because there are a zillion lyrics 
just like every other song in my jar, apparently. But it's gonna be a good time. Um, I really, really enjoy this song because <laughs> of all of the witty banter and dialogue. Um, Patrick has a verse, then I have a verse, and then we actually have a verse together, so there's a lot of overlapping dialogue, so it'll be interesting to see how that all syncs up. Um, there's a, a lot more overlapping dialogue than I've had on the vlog before, so we'll get all of that squared away for you. Um, but I've, I've been enjoying the practice process. This project is actually a little interesting because I started it so late in the evening. Um, the way that my schedule works out, I have to to video during the day and I know that Patrick is gonna video when he gets home from work this evening. So I actually won't get to physically see his video before I do mine, um, which is fine. <laughs> I've just been kind of like basing my acting choices off of my partners um, and I'm not quite sure what those acting choices are gonna be quite yet. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple of takes actually. I'm gonna do one where I'm just like straight into the camera with not a lot of acting choices. And then I'm gonna do one where I go complete bananas ham. Um, because the, the text lends itself to such comedic moments, um, I feel like maybe Patrick will make some fun choices. So I'm gonna do a straightforward one and then I'm gonna do one where I make huge comedic choices and we'll see which one makes the cut. So I've been doing a little bit of research on our piece. Our piece is not from a musical. Our piece is actually just a standalone piece um, that two brilliant gentlemen wrote. Um, Kuman and Demond are a songwriter lyricist team out of New York, and they write for stage screen, all sorts of things. Some of the things that they've done that you might know are Romantics Anonymous, which was on the Globe stage. And then they also did, um, they've done a bunch of stuff for Vampirina, which is on the Disney Channel and Disney Junior. Um, so they released their first album of standalone pieces and The Temp and The Receptionist, which is the piece that Patrick and I are doing, was released on that album. Now they wrote this particular piece for the, the, the singers that, that sing it on the album because they went to school with them. Um, and so they, they thought that it would be fun to have a piece for these two artists. Um, and the songwriter at the time, the lyricist, um, was temp, was being a, a temp. He had some temp work that he was doing and he thought it was really funny that there was a lot of things in the office that could lend themselves to um, witty innuendo. And so they wrote a song based on those thoughts. Yeah, so there's not really characters that we are playing. Um, the name that the receptionist throws out is Wendell. So Patrick will be playing Wendell and I will be playing the receptionist. But we're going to go have a good time nonetheless. I'm going to go take a couple of videos and we'll see what the performance looks like right now. <laughs> your reception desk looking oh so statuesque taking calls with so much care and rolling in your rolling chair and you're forever smiling while you do the filing <laughs> you sign for the delivery Time for my heart, pretty please. I've had you on my mind, you see, since this temp job was assigned to me. Make my workday dreams come true, and let me take it to my cubicle of love. I'll make your fantasies my fiscal goal. Cubicle of love, you'll be an icon on the desktop of my soul. I'll fill your coffee cup with cream, cause it's you I'm dreaming of. Soft as my sweater vest in our cubicle of Fire. As you file your TPS reports, you 
got me feeling out of sorts And you act like no one ever sees Whoa, as you caress those keyboard keys Whoa, and you're so suave and debonair Whoa, so boys stop playing solitaire Whoa, don't you know it's not a crime To put in for some overtime our partnership is long past due, so won't you take me to your cubicle of love? Take me away from this sheer office hell. Cubicle of love, open my spreadsheets like in Microsoft Excel. Bend me like a rubber band and we'll feel like two paper clips in our cubicle of love. I try to fight this feeling, but my passion prevails. Oh, baby, we're the envy of everyone in sales. I can't fight the temptation of an office romance. You transfer all your phone calls directly to my pants. Oh, let's give in to the urge like a database will burn. I'm just feeling so right, I can fix you all night Let's succumb to these corporate forces And employ all our human resources Can you recall of love? That's where I'll show you your my office rate You recall of love, like two sheets of paper Stapled together, together here. here.